Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon visits Austin, Texas for the first time. But this isn't a tale of a classic Western. It's a disturbing great tragedy. There's a mother who's at the end of a rope. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'm up to here with that. And a son who has completely lost his passion. I don't want to be in here with these two. The two have become sworn enemies. Then do it. I don't need you. With a relationship that is completely destroyed. It'll be 10 o'clock here. I don't want to hear that shit in the morning. And a restaurant that is near death. I'd rather be dead. Chef Ramsay may be walking into a situation that is too far gone to rescue. Don't fucking come to work. You and her leave. What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not done. Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. I just can't thank you enough. Austin, Texas, home to over 50,000 students that attend the University of Texas. Located only blocks away is El Greco, an authentic Greek restaurant opened in 2007 by Jake and his mother, Athena. This is my favorite one. I always want to open that restaurant. I always love to cook. Let's do this. You're, you're awesome, guys. Come on. My mother wanted uh, to open up a restaurant. I love to cook, so my mother brought her sister down and we opened up a restaurant. We got a hummus appetizer. I'll get that going. I was so excited to open. The first half a year was very, very busy. Thank you, welcome. Let's get this, come on guys. Those were good times, I mean, it was busy all day long. It was thriving, I mean, every day, just in and out, packed. But. Jake is a big reason why everything is screwed up. In the last year, I would say, it's really turned around to be pretty disappointing. Wait, is Jake? In a typical day, Jake would spend three, maybe four hours here. Jake is not here. Not all in a row. Smile and wave. He's freaking abandoned us again. I'm not spending as much time as I used to in the restaurant. I'm just tired of coming into work knowing that I got to deal with my mother. Come on, guys. Athena, it's going. I know he's not. Athena, stop. Get the water. Stop yelling. Nag, nag, nag. She nags constantly. Come on, let's do it. Athena, stop. Come on. I have to yell at him. Hey. Athena, I, if you come in here one more time, we're going to have problems. If I tell you once and they tell you twice, the third time I'm going to fire the up. Yes. Mom, get the fuck out of my kitchen. Jake does not speak to his mother like a uh, mother should be spoken to. Day before we peeled two fucking buckets of potatoes, where did the buckets of potatoes go? Did we sell that many fucking potatoes? I don't think so. This is a restaurant game between us. I see my son and they say, this is not my son. He used to spoil me like to death. And now he hates me. Mom, get out of my line the turmoil between Jake and Athena. You can get the hell out of here. It's just been bad vibes, and it's really affecting the restaurant. <laughs> the food quality is really low. They said their mosaka and orso was way too mushy. What? That was nasty. That's bad. Yeah. The morale is really low. We're up to the um, threshold of how much shit I can handle, period, bro. I thought Chef Ramsey's out, but El Greco's doomed. This fucking sucks. I put up everything, whatever I had, all of my money. This restaurant, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be in the streets. I wish I was dead. The Greek restaurant in Austin, okay. How you doing? Good to see you. It's good to see you too. It's a pleasure. Gordon. Dustin. Dustin, good to see you, buddy. And you are? Uh, the waiter. Okay, great. Are the others about? Yeah. Yeah. Can we put Jake and Athena. Love oh, to yeah. meet them. Thank Jake. you. Jake. Athena. Hey. Oh. Hey. How you doing? Hi. Very well, thank you. How are you? Jake, I'm doing good, sir. Thank you. Jake. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, great. Hey, can I give you a hug? A hug? What? I was waiting for that. Okay, moment. let's have a little hug. Oh, always, always nice. Welcome well, to my... Warm. 
welcome. Well, Thank you. Well, nice to see you. And your name is? Athena. Athena. This is your... My mother. And you guys are partners, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, let's spend a couple of minutes catching up and give me a little insight to what's been happening. You got it. Shall we? Yeah. Things Good. have gone bad with me and my mother since the restaurant has opened. My first priority is getting the restaurant fixed. And if that gets fixed, I think our relationship will get fixed. Um, so, mother and son. Yes, sir. Uh, who just wants? You are obviously the chef. And... Yes, yes, sir. And I'm just the mother and the cook back there with my sister. Oh, you cook as well? Yes. I try my best. I try to do it like my mother and my grandmother. So authentic. Yes, it's authentic uh, ancestral recipes. How old were you when you first started cooking? I've been cooking all my life, but I, right. I, I went to culinary school about uh, eight years ago. My mom always wanted to open up a restaurant and get her sister down here from Greece. I said, you know what, let me go to culinary school and see what we could do. So that's, that's what I did. Are, are we? Damn. Are they awesome? I'm very good. Uh, are you anyway. great at catching flies? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I am. What are you? I'm gonna no, kill no, one. come over here. I'm gonna kill one. One second. No, no, maybe, 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 maybe not in front of the customers. <laughs> no, no, mom. No. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, there you go. Well caught, by the way. That's uh, that's lightning. Yeah, that was lightning. Of course, huh? I'm good about Great the reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go back to the beginning when you first opened. What was that like? Beautiful. The first eight months were great. We were busy all day long. There wouldn't be. Uh, a lull in service at all. Wow. But we was busy, we didn't even feel we was tired. What time do you start in the morning? We have to come here at 6 o'clock. We'd be here at Naturally. 6, yeah. But on average, not seven... my son. Don't say we be here yeah, because mother, you are I, not yeah, here. I haven't well, been here in a while. Yeah. But you're the chef, surely you're here at the same time? No, no, sir. So what yeah. time do you come in the morning? Probably 11, 11 o'clock. Right before lunch, 30. 12, yeah. Hold on a minute, 12. your mum comes in <laughs> at 6. And you come in at 11.30, five and a half hours later. Yes. So if your mum and your auntie does all the prep, what do you actually do? <sighs> yeah, I cook uh, food for customers, yeah. You cook for customers? Yeah, no, that's about it. You tired? He's always tired. He's always, always tired. tired. He's still yawning. What do you think the biggest problem with the restaurant is right now, today? I don't know what the reason is. It's Jake. It's Jake. Exactly. I see my son, how he used to be and how he's oh, now. Stop. Don't what? tell me you are not, because stop. you are. No, I'm not. My son changed. He doesn't care. Not about his life, not about the restaurant, not about anything. How much? What's the investment for the initial restaurant? How much did it cost? Uh, I came here with $800,000 plus another five. Eight, $800,000 for this? Almost, yeah. I put $800,000. And everything's gone. Not only I'm losing all my money, I lost my son too. It's very dramatic. He doesn't want to hear my voice. No, no, Why? You're his nags. mother. She's nagging all the time. He says constantly, he says I'm yelling at him, even if I'm talking to him nicely. I can't take it anymore. The hell with the money, the hell with the restaurant. But you're losing my son too, on top of everything. Shut up about that, please. Christ, man. I can't take it anymore. I'd rather be dead. I'd rather be dead to have a son like you now. Within minutes of arriving at El Greco, Gordon quickly realizes that the pressures of the restaurant has ruined the relationship between mother and son. I'd rather be dead to have a son like you now. After that gloomy greeting, he's hoping that the lunch is a little more cheerful. You want to go grab something to drink? Um, no, I'm just going to have a glass of water, please. Glass uh, of water. Dustin, um, and who's that uh, young man in the kitchen there? Who's that? That's Anthony. Anthony, may I have a good word? Yeah, Anthony. Anthony. Dustin, thank you. Anthony. How are you? Good to see you. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. Sit down. And um, what's your position here? Um, uh, kitchen manager. Kitchen manager? I run so the So we've got Jake's an executive staff. chef, and you're the kitchen manager? Yes. Wow, so I haven't tasted the food yet, but I'm more shocked with the relationship with his mother. Is I that? Know. No, this is that is mother the most son. shocking thing when anybody works here. Is it him or, or her? And it all starts with him not showing up in the morning. It's all. Unbelievable. She just doesn't like to be here. He'll come when he gets busy. How many hours a day is Jake here? On an average day, I'd say about three. Three total hours in one day? Yeah, yeah. Is he in love? Is he your girlfriend? A video game.
It's unbelievable. A video game. Yeah. He's not playing it right now, but I guarantee you he's thinking about it. What a disaster. Okay. Well, thank you for the update. Yes. I appreciate it. Yes, I wish I could meet you under better conditions. Everybody well, do. good Let's to see you. Let's get you some food, eh? Thank you. Well, could I uh, start off with stuffed zucchini and then got to go for the lamb shank as well, I saw that. And then moussaka. Moussaka, please. Cool. Um, and I think that'll be it for now. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Bring it up, come on. Well, obviously, things aren't going right since Chef Ramsey, Ramsey and came out today. But I'm not going to let anyone defeat me. I got it. Right. Zucchini. Let's fucking do this. Jake likes to just get in and get out fast. He knows better, and I know better, than to use a microwave and turn to Gordon Ramsay. Right now, Jake is very lazy. It's pretty messed up. The bears sing, dude. Stuff zucchini is delightful. You're screwed. What is that? So, so stuff zucchini. Stuff zucchini. Yeah. Look at that. There's like two grenades about to explode. My god. Now it looks like something out of an alien movie. When zucchinis attack. Oh. Wow. That's badly seen. Bland. No go? No. Oh, that's disgusting. I could cry. What a joke. Wow. Sorry about that. What did they say? Stuff zucchini was horrible. Oh, fuck it. We're good. Hated it. What? Try this. I did it. He hated it. It's too strong. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Jake's ability at this moment is zero. He doesn't care anymore. Lamb shank, it's coming, man. I'm doomed, completely. Lamb shank. Now there's a very anemic looking lamb shank. Look at the presentation. It's depressing. Almost like it's uh, been in the microwave for an hour. I'm sure that they wouldn't microwave a lamb shank. I'm a little bit nervous to have gray the meat is. Is way too salty and, and badly balanced. Dustin? I mean, so salty. Who cooked that, uh, Dustin? That's Chef Mike. Chef who? Chef Mike. It's a microwave. I thought there was a third chef. <laughs> he kind of is. He does Are a we... lot of work in the kitchen. Uh, we use Chef Mike a lot. Whenever there's lights on in this restaurant, Chef Mike's working. He's a dedicated employee. He uh, asked about Chef Mike. He, said, he asked who cooked it. I mean, I can't lie to him, so I told him. He's not happy. Holy fuck, dude. I can't take this bullshit. Hello. Hi. I am Kiki. Kiki? Yeah. How are you? Thank nice you. to see you. Nothing is good. May I finish my lunch first? Okay, and then have sorry, a chat? No English. No. Okay, I'm sorry. Scottish? No. French? No. Spanish? Oh, the, German? Uh, German, a little okay. bit. OK. I don't speak German, <laughs> but it's good to know. Thank you, thank you. This is the one I'm going to serve? You're going to serve it to me. Go. God, it's so embarrassing. I don't care, man. At this point, I don't give a fuck about anything. Though. Moussaka. Now you think of Greece, you think of authenticity. That is not authentic. It's a non-moving moussaka. What a disaster. He went like this, stayed on there. Jake goes, I don't care. If you saw this food in a dog food bowl, you would not think twice. Moussaka? What was that made? When was that made? Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, you don't like it, the eggplant or no. anything? And did Chef Mike have a hand in this one? Chef Mike has a hand in a lot of dishes. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. How'd you like to try anything else? No. <laughs> gotcha. It's just too painful. It's not possible for a restaurant to be so bad. Yes, about Chef Mike again with the moussaka. Well, where is uh, where is everybody? This will be fun. Yeah. I want to run away and hide. <laughs> hide. I'm putting out a high-end quality product, and if you don't appreciate it, then get the fuck out. I've never felt so depressed in my entire life. That was embarrassing. The stuffed zucchini? You didn't like it. No. 
bland, depressing. The lamb shank, I mean, salty, sad. And it was just dumped on a plate like a dog bowl. And then the moussaka. That was made this morning, was it? Yeah? Yes, Thursday. Right. Right. What, what wasn't fresh about it? it, was, it what was, wasn't it fresh was about it? You served me yesterday. The only chance of it tasting fresh has gone. It's not even 24 hours old. So well, what's not fresh about that? Executive chef, Chef Mike, the freaking microwave, has more qualifications than you. I think your big problem is, Jake, you don't care. You don't want to even be here, do you? I can see it in the body language, the attitude, and just the way you perform. I've come across a lot of executive chefs in my time. I've never seen one quite like a sack of shit that's standing in front of me now. Ramsey told me how it is. I feel the same way. Could I just have a two minutes with the owner, please? Oh, with her? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. I'm really sorry. So it's another hope for us. That's what you tried to tell me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, I need to be really honest with you. The hardest restaurants to fix ever are the ones where the passion has gone. And his passion nice has gone way before he thought about asking me here. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm going to be here tonight. I'm going to see how this place functions. I need to see everything as it is. I don't know how to do, Mr. Ramsey. You are my last hope. I just hope it's not too late. OK? <laughs> I'll see you later. OK. Thank you, Athena. Nightmare. I hope it's not too late. Uh... After a depressing afternoon with Jake and Athena. You all right? No, I'm not all right. It's going to be a long night. Word is spread that Chef Ramsay is at El Greco, and the restaurant is fully booked. How you guys doing? Now Gordon hopes to get some more insight into how Greco operates in a dinner service. This is Diego. Diego. What's your role? Oh, pretty much as great a line cook. Line cook? Yeah. Good. And what your training, what, what have you done? Well, I've been cooking in Austin in various different restaurants. So okay. I'm 18, I'm 32 now. Uh, wow, so 14 years experience on yeah. the line. Wow. Let's go. Okay. I'll take the kebabs as well, except with shrimp. Here come the peas orzo for the second order. Put this out. We got green beans. There you go. Microwave food. Chef Mike. Twelve gas ring burners there, and not one of the chefs is using them. They're all in the microwave. It's like we've forgotten there was a kitchen here. What is that in there? It looked like someone sat on a football. Yeah. But it's a uh, moussaka from it's a moussaka. Chef Mike. You'd be fucked without the microwave, wouldn't you? Unbelievable, Diego. I would love nothing more than to see both of these going to Nostra. It's really humiliating. I feel like a little kid heating stuff up in a microwave. It kind of messes with my passion for cooking. Like, I don't feel like a cook the way we're doing things with the microwave. As Chef Ramsay watches plate after plate, after plate being zapped in the microwave, it becomes clear that Jake doesn't really care about his food. Here we go again, waiting in line from Chef Mike. We got a cue for the microwave. Yeah. This is incredible. The minute you walk into a restaurant with an open kitchen and all the chefs are facing out, as opposed to standing in front of the stove, get out. That's what's happening here. Unbelievable. Dustin, is this normal? This I have nothing to say. That's just how we do it. I've seen a diaper look more appetizing than that. I agree. Greek restaurants, more like a Greek tragedy. Pisses me off. What I think about my food is, it's healthy, it's fresh, it's it's good, it's damn good. Yeah, reheated, microwave food. It's, it's not microwave food. I mean, how else am I going to reheat it? Don't break my balls about getting it re reheating it in a microwave. He's been cooking 14 years. There's a whole stove there, not even being used, and this guy's like this. Come on, Jake. Fuck me. I don't use the word microwave. 
I'm not cooking it in the microwave. I'm reheating it in the microwave. Big difference. There's a big difference. I don't think it compromises the food, reheating it that way, but I mean... Say that again. You don't think it compromises the food? I don't think so. Oh, my God. Oh, they're going to have a big pie. Oh, my God. It doesn't compromise the standard of food? No. Wow. Yeah, you fuck off. How's that? There we go. Go. Get out of my line. Jake. Yeah, Jake. I got it. Look, Jake, I'm trying to yeah, put Jake, out food. I'm Jake, not here to talk something. to you. Take your head out your ass and just start acting like a man and start taking responsibility for something, will you? Hey, I'm taking responsibility. You are. And you think it's smart telling me to fuck off? I don't want to fuck, fuck, I don't wanna fuck around. So, Whatever. how about showing a little bit of respect for what you're doing? Go. Off my line, let me do my job. Get out of here. Jake, Jake, I'll go with pleasure. It's an hour and a half into dinner service at El Greco. Reheated microwave food. And while Chef Ramsay has had enough with the microwave. Yeah, you fuck off. How's that? There we go. Jake has had enough of Chef Ramsay. Go. Get out of my line. You think it's smart telling me to fuck, fuck off? I don't want to fuck around. So Whatever. how about showing a little bit of respect for what you're doing? Go. Off my line. Let me do my job. I'll go. With pleasure. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I need table 20. I know it's a mess. A mess? You can fix it. You can tell them whatever we have to do and we will do it. I've never seen a kitchen function with a microwave as much as here. OK. All right. That's number one. Number two. Your son doesn't care. It's depressing. There's three chefs standing on the line, and not one person's cooking. OK. If you have passion, and love for food. You don't zap it, you don't microwave it. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Greek restaurant, nuclear power station. He's right, Mr. Ramsey. My son changed. He doesn't even care about himself. Makes me feel that. Honestly, seriously, I'm in shock. Let me tell you why. The busiest chef tonight is Chef Mike. And how dare you tell me that food cooked in the microwave... It's not cooked in the microwave. It's reheated. Are you honestly saying there's no difference in food that's been reheated than cooking something fresh? I mean, I don't think it tastes that much different. There's no love, no care, no passion. She doesn't care. Oh, Athena, please. She has to care. Athena. You have to take in charge, hey, and quiet. you are not. Quiet. Quiet. OK? Get out of my fucking restaurant. Right now. Out. It's not your restaurant. Yeah, it is my restaurant. Out. I'm not going to listen to your bullshit. OK? I wouldn't be alive right now if I talked to my mother the way Jake does. My mom would murder me. Athena, you know what? I'm sick and tired of nag, 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 nag every goddamn day. Oh, you, you need, leave you me alone. To... Oh, yeah, leave you alone. I need to go and have a fucking good thing. I got you. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. My son gave up. Jake should be more committed to this restaurant. You have to change, James. I hope my son comes to his senses and Chef Ramsay will bring the old Jake back. I can give my life for that. Come and prep. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be here at 10 o'clock. As another day begins, Athena and her sister Kiki arrive early to begin the daily ritual of prepping for lunch and dinner. But in spite of promising to be there at 10 o'clock, Jake is nowhere to be seen. The bank, money by all, is in my name. He's blowing it for me. They tell you 10 o'clock, be 10 o'clock here. I don't want to hear your bullshit or her bullshit. That's why I don't come down here. I really... 
that badly the next fight. This is exactly why I don't come down, because they yell at me, they gang up on me. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Your okay. eye, your eye. There's nothing left of me in here. I'm sick of it. Oh, I think Vicky is not anymore a human. I don't know what he is. After spending the morning doing research around Austin, Gordon is ready to put some changes into effect. Morning. Morning. But the real question is, is Jake ready to change his attitude? Morning. Morning. How are you? I'm OK. Yeah? You don't look OK. What's going on? I just had an argument with my son. This is what happens every day. If he tells me he's going to come at 10 o'clock, he comes 12 o'clock. This is crazy. Don't you do? What did she say? Excuse me? I, I don't understand. This is ridiculous. Get in here, please. Two minutes. Yes, sir. The atmosphere in here is horrific. What's going on? I don't want to be in here with these two. I really don't. Every time I walk in here, they look for something to complain at me. And then they both gang up on me. And I don't need you two fucking me coming in here and you guys yapping and yapping and yapping. I don't want to hear that shit in the morning. I really don't. No. Yeah, whatever. Why is she so upset? What was that? Please? They say I don't come down on time. No, you never I don't. do. I don't. You never do. This is the reason. No. All, I, you all you do is yell and you mad. You're creating that. No, I don't create it. I think yes. who the hell wants to come down early in the morning and listen to people yelling at him? I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm up to here with the, I get very upset. That's what I got to put up with every morning. He doesn't give a damn he must about give a damn. mine. Come on, it can't be that cold hearted. Yeah. He I, I, is sometimes I don't. I mean, I don't want to deal with it, dude. He I mean, if you put up with this shit for two years, you're not going to give a damn about it either. You won't. They're not your friends. It's your mom and your aunt. Yeah. He doesn't give a and damn about that. No, That's but why, we why should I give a damn when you're swearing at me, you're cursing yeah, me, you're calling me names all day long? You don't need to be here. You and her do not need to be here. I don't need this fucking stress. Who do drapes it right Excuse me, Kiki, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. You know, I'd be better off with both of you staying home and let me do what I need to fucking do. Then do it. I will. Don't fucking come to work. You and her leave. After years of pain and suffering at El Greco, the family has finally reached its breaking point. Don't fucking come to work. You and her leave. Don't come. But is that what you really want? Is that what you did? No, I don't really want that. No. What the fuck are we doing? We didn't do this in the beginning. All this argument has brought our restaurant down and brought our relationship to a halt. This fighting has got to stop. Yes. This is insane. He has to commit to getting in here earlier, and you have to stop beating him with a stick. What do you want me to do? Wipe the board clean. Are you willing to change? I am willing to change the Because it's got to stop today. Stop right now. I'll start all over again like it's the first day. And Bravo. that is a commitment that all Bravo. three of you. Bravo! I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Don't you lose it. Η 
Κανένας δεν είναι σε τίποτα ούτε στο μυαλό ούτε στη δύναμη. Κανένας δεν είναι σαν εσένα. If my son can change, I think I'm going to be the most happiest mother in this world. We've forgotten the importance and the advantage of having a family-run restaurant because when it works brilliantly, it's amazing. And we have to get back. And it's not going to get any better unless you change, all three of you. Okay. I got my mom and aunt back. I really love both of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't like arguing with them. I love my aunt like she is my mom. Now that the family has made a commitment to work together, as opposed to fighting each other. Right, I just need all of you for two minutes outside, please. Chef Ramsay has made a commitment of his own that he hopes will have a major impact on the dining experience at El Greco. They're gonna run us over. A yeah, car, bam! It's a firing squad. <laughs> I had fixed the problem in the restaurant. I'd ran over everybody. Chef Mike, you've been so busy. It's time that you took a little vacation. What's going on? I don't know. Hey guys, I've got something to uh, to show you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, 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 the microwave! <laughs> it's time to say goodbye oh, to a very busy Chef Mike. Chef Mike. Hey, guys, back. <laughs> yes. Way to Chef Mike. Yeah. Chef Mike, it was good knowing you, but we're better off without you. Chef Mike, nice shot. Yeah. Has left the building. Has uh, left the building. Yeah. A beginning of a new era. Yes, sir. Because we are relaunching this restaurant tomorrow. And you do not need a microwave to cook in your restaurant. You know, it's a family business. By losing my passion, I've hurt the restaurant, I hurt my employees, I hurt my customers, and I need to get back to the basics and cook food the way it needs to be cooked, and that's what I'm going to do. With a microwave no longer the essential piece of equipment in the kitchen, Chef Ramsay begins to put his plan into effect, cooking fresh Greek food. We're going to do a grilled salmon, nicely seasoned, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, okay, extra touch of salt on the skin. And getting Jake passionate about cooking again. Nicely marked all the way around. Literally 90 seconds on each side. You got it. I'm not in here to pre-cook food. I'm here to cook it. That's why I went to school. That's why I'm in here. We'll take a spoon of tzatziki just on the plate. The salmon that sits on there. That's beautiful. Jake's passion, I think, is coming back for cooking. I think I'm going to have my son back. Now, start tasting. Yeah, it tastes really good. Wonderful. I'm excited for Jake and Athena. I feel a huge weight has been lifted here. I feel like uh, I can actually be a chef now. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Woohoo! Coming up. Damn you, people. It's relaunch night, and El Greco gets a new lease on life. Jake can't do everything. But will Jake be able to lead his kitchen to a successful evening? What are you doing, man? You don't listen to because shit. I see. Because I don't got nothing for you to do yet. Or will he be the only cook standing when dinner service ends? One more fucking lip from you, you're done. Now that the family at El Greco is focused on moving ahead instead of looking behind, Chef Ramsay's renovation team works through the night to give El Greco its own unique identity. Good morning. Are you ready to We're see ready. the new restaurant? Yes, I'm ready. I want to go in. I want to see it. Right, let's go. All right. Ladies go. first. Oh, Whoa. wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Very light. Yeah. It is beautiful. Yes. It when you is. walk through these doors, you think of Greece. That is awesome. The restaurant was soulless. It was dull. It was drab. No identity. Now when you walk in, it's clean. It's Mediterranean. I it's love it. Keeping with the classic Greek flag with the blue and white. Chairs, blue and white. The silhouettes on the walls. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I notice something different every time I look. And you have a centralized table here. And look at it, it's got the right height, we've got new stools, brush stainless steel. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. I love it. This is nice. perfect, the picture. Everything's perfect. 
Words can't describe how I feel about the restaurant. This is like a new place. It's a new beginning, a fresh start. That's, that's what we want. It's awesome. With the excitement of the new dining room still in the air, Chef Ramsay's carefully designed menu is ready to be revealed. Welcome to the most amazing, vibrant Greek menu here in Austin, Texas. And guess what? Chef Mike didn't touch a thing. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't touch a thing. We're gonna start off with the lamb chop, lightly seasoned, lightly marinated, and grilled to perfection. Half a roasted chicken. Amazing. Oh, grilled octopus, braised slowly, and served with a little Greek marinade. Yeah, that's very classic. Additional entrees, pressed eggplant moussaka, yeah, and the beef moussaka running alongside it. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. OK, get some knife and forks, dig in, yeah. Grab me one of these. <laughs> Very nice. Dude, that's killer. Amazing. Oh. That was phenomenal, too. My dream came true. This is a new start for us, for me and my son and my sister. It's a new beginning. Welcome to El Greco. What can I start you off with? It's relaunch night at El Greco. I'm gonna get the beef moussaka. Beef moussaka? Yeah. Well, it's all gonna feel really weird and awkward, but of course it's gonna feel weird because we're laying down the foundation again. And for the first time in a long time, everything will be cooked fresh to order. There we go. We got a crispy feta and we got a grilled octopus. Let's do this, dude. It feels awesome to finally be able to cook again. I want to hit the road running. Drop the feta, please. I'm ready to go. Drop the feta, please. I got oh, it. Feta. I got it. I should be doing it. I should be doing it. And I'm dropping the feta. Go ahead. Come on, finish. As stunning fresh food makes its way out to the diners, it's fantastic. the demand on the kitchen continues to grow. Drop a falafel, OK? I'll get that. But just as importantly, so does Jake's enthusiasm. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Jake, Jake, you can't do everything. Yes, sir. I am now plating the veggie. Falafel. Wait, hey, falafel. Put these in the oven. Falafel. First thing. These are the falafels? Yeah. I got it. Jake. Yes, sir. Jake. Yes, sir. Talk to us. Come on. Talk to us. OK. There you I go. I need you to uh, start getting these two tickets out right here. Call them out for me. OK. Walk in. No, 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 no. That's a bad idea. Let me put these up. <sighs> Unbelievable. When I first arrived here, Jake was just a lazy chef doing nothing. Now, he's the other extreme. He's doing everything and delegating nothing, which is just as dangerous. Unbelievable. Hey, what's this lamb doing here, man? Are we selling this? With Jake unwilling to accept help from anyone. How long have we been here? We've been here like an hour, hour and a half. The kitchen is completely stalled. And a relaunch that started off so well is now in jeopardy. What else can I be doing? Ugh. Jake, can you answer me? What? What are you doing, man? You don't listen to shit. Because, because, I, because I don't got nothing for you to do yet. Jake's got to be able to either work with us better or the whole thing will go down. Don't give me attitude, Diego, please. We have a chance starting today to do things completely different, and we should work together. God damn you people, man. Well, yeah. Can't be fucking hey, nobody else. Hey, dude, one more fucking lip from you. You're done, both of you. I think my son is to pull up. Come on, Jake. Or it's going to fall apart. Listen to what I'm telling you. Oh, God. It's relaunch night at El Greco. I got it. I got it. I got it. And with Jake trying to run the entire kitchen solo. What are you doing, man? You don't listen to shit. Because, because, because I don't got nothing for you to do yet. Dinner service is on the verge of disaster. Damn you people, man. Well, yeah. Can't be fucking nobody hey, else. Hey, dude, one more fucking lip from you, you're done. Both of you. This is ridiculous. Well, Jake, wait, two wait, seconds. Wait, this, uh, Anthony, we, we, Anthony, come here. Diego, Jake. Yes, sir. Two seconds. You have got to start delegating. We're about to go down. Stop running around and delegate these two. You got it. I'm, I'm Stay as a team, guys. Don't start fucking arguing. There was a lot of mistakes that shouldn't be happening at this point. Chef Ramsay is totally right. I need to delegate more, so this is it's going to stop. Green beans, green beans, we got them, right? Right here, chef. I need an orzo, a bean, and a pilaf ready. Right here, chef. Good. All right. With Jake finally working in tandem with his team in the kitchen. This is going to 28. Thank God. Stunning, delicious Greek dishes are once again leaving the kitchen. Gorgeous, huh? That yeah. is some intense mufasa. Everybody had smiles on their face. Everybody in the dining room. 
happy. Oh, very happy. The tickets took a little bit of time, but they love the food. Eat. Oh, please. Make me a steak plate, please. That's it. That's all I want. That's it. That's all you got. I'm happy with the results of what we were pushing out tonight. We made a few mistakes, but we made good food. And it actually felt good to smell the smells and hear the sounds and actually really be cooking. Uh, that's it. I don't, we have another thing. We don't have any more tickets. They're done. They're done. That ticket is done. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for being patient. Oof. OK. In a matter of days, we've come a very, very long way. Let me tell you that. And the atmosphere in here tonight, in comparison to when I first walked through those doors, the difference is night and day. Very good, guys. Well done, you. Ramsey, he's the man. And no one else could have done it but him. Jake's a hard cookie to crack. He, he bashed it. It was a major, and I mean major, transformation. I think we've been given um, kind of a golden ticket to either bring this restaurant to the brink of greatness or to flush it down the toilet. And it's totally up to Jake and Athena at this point. Here's to El Greco. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Breaking the plates is like breaking the old habits. We can wipe this clean. New start, new beginning. Jake, you were under pressure tonight. If I can give you one piece of advice, you need to show respect to your team. Yes, sir. You're their leader. Yes, You're sir. their inspiration. I was very proud of him. It's a good feeling, man. I'm so happy it's... about that. Not a lot of people get second chances. Yeah, we're definitely not going to squander it. We're going to move forward and make something of it. Athena, you need to respect him, and he needs to respect you. Exactly. Give me a hug. Oh, that was a big wet sword you Chef, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Look after yourself. Yes, sir. And look after your team. Yes, sir. Team first. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. For nearly two years, this restaurant was microwaving everything. So the fact that we had a successful relaunch is amazing. But the biggest, and I mean the biggest miracle of all, is the fact that we brought Athena and Jake together. And quite honestly, I didn't think that was going to happen. Wow. Chef Mike, rest in pieces. In the months that followed... Welcome to El Greco. Let's do this. El Greco received positive feedback from the community. This is fantastic. It has a really good flavor. And it appeared as though the restaurant was going to be turned around. But Jake and Athena's insurmountable debt was too much to overcome. And the mother and son were forced to close El Greco. Tonight, on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsey heads to an Atlanta suburb to help first-time restaurant owners Richard and Jorge. Hi, hi, hi. And while the restaurant is clearly on the verge of disaster... What the hell? One owner is too stubborn to see the problem. It's dry. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. The other doesn't seem to care. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One thing is for sure, they are clearly over their head. This is fucking ridiculous. With a menu that is bizarre. Mexican, Asian, Indian. Sound like a fusion. Confusion. A staff that is completely frustrated. Don't talk to me like that. It's not surprising that the kitchen has become a battleground. Get out of here right now. Yeah. Chill out with a fucking drama. Get out of here. Can Chef Ramsay get through to this disappointing duo? You can't even tell me the truth. Do you know why? About what? Because you don't know. Or is the damage so severe, it is impossible to be fixed? You're a fucking joke. You Listen. Did. You're a joke to me. What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. Inman Park, Georgia, an upscale Atlanta suburb known for its trendy dining scene. In the middle of this tight-knit community is Park's Edge, opened three years ago by longtime friends Richard and Jorge. All right, Jorge. 
Jorge is my best friend. Our friendship started when I used to own an air freight company in California, and for the last three years, we've been business partners. Okay, where's Richard? Okay, there you go. I was working for you. When I was working for Richard, I decided that I was going to go to culinary school. And after I graduated from culinary school, and Richard and I decided to open up this restaurant. Hey, guys, our first guest is coming in. Let's look alive. Prior to owning Park's Edge, I had zero restaurant experience. Yeah, you can help me a little bit? I just had a dream. Basically, they had a couple dollars in their pocket, and they're like, hey, let's open up a restaurant. OK, you got the fire zone, everything's on. Do you know how to do it? No. Do you? No. Well, hey, how hard can it be? Well, I have a refire on 10. I don't have a refire on 10. Hey, one at a time. The kitchen is a mess. What is that, eh? I don't have that, man. There's no organization and structure. How long you got on the scallops on 21, chef? They're, they're, my times are all fucked up over here. I don't think Jorge knows what he's doing. When's this guy going to realize his food's just not working and that he needs to do something else? My cooking is something that's a little more evolved and different. Hey, try it. I like to just kind of take stuff that's basic and just sort of reinvent it. Yeah, you can't start that. Okay. Damn. Wow, it's weird if I wouldn't get it again. Did not like the taste. They said it wasn't good. Jorge definitely thinks his food is like Olympic quality food. It's perfect. It's like having a friend that just thinks they're completely kick ass at something and they're not that good at it. He could either order seafood, but I would not cook another steak for him. All right, how are your tables doing, Drew? 45. The order's been in for an hour. They got that little girl looking like she's about to die. Hi, hi, hi. When the heat is on in the kitchen. I've never worked this hard before. <laughs> Richard serves no purpose. How's it going? Not good. I know. He doesn't know anything about the restaurant to help. My job is to run the front of the house, OK? And that's the easy part. Oh, my god. I didn't even see you, Cass. How you doing, baby? I just dress up and smile. <laughs> that's all I do. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> he always has a smile on his face. <laughs> like, nothing is going wrong. He kind of has this. But there's some deep-seated issues with the restaurant and the community. We put a tent up in the parking lot. I didn't know he needed a permit. And then we were pouring liquor without a license. A newscaster came into the restaurant, and he told me that the neighbors don't like us being here. They could do better and deserve better. And my response was, they don't like us because we're a black-owned restaurant and we're in a white neighborhood. Since Rich called the neighborhood raises, we lost most of the business. What's going on out there? Uh, you don't want to know, man. It was so bad, I, I, didn't, I couldn't even walk the floor. I don't have a plan B for this. This is my life. To be a successful restaurant, you need the neighborhood on your side. Now, I did a little research on Park Says before I got here, and what I found was somewhat shocking. They've only been open for three years, and they've managed already to totally alienate the whole neighborhood. Hello. Hey, good afternoon. How are you doing, Chef Ramsey? I'm Richard, co-owner of the restaurant. Co-owner of the restaurant? Look at you, looking very dapper. We need Chef Ramsey's help because Jorge and I have built up a ill relationship, which is warranted with the community. And I don't know how to fix it at this point. Um, who's at the foundation? Corey and I. OK, great. It's 50 50. I usually get managed in front of the house. He runs the back of the house. OK, and is he back there now? Yeah. Want to go take a look? Yeah. Well, why okay. don't you bring him out? OK, hold on a sec. Corey, can you step away right now or no? I mean, I got a second. OK. As far as the food and the menu is concerned, there, there's really nothing wrong with it. OK, so, Gordon Ramsay, good, good to see you. As far as the community is concerned, I think we could definitely use um, some help. Okay. Give me a little insight to the business so okay. I can get my head up to speed. In your eyes, what's the issue? It's in a nutshell. Uh, you know, we're just trying to reach back to the neighborhood. Yeah, we yeah. made some mistakes in this neighborhood that uh, we don't know how to unwind. I did you read know. something about that. And we're hoping you can help us with that a little bit. So the good news is it's not the food. No, right? no, no, no. Well, it's no. great. Well, I can't wait to eat. All right. All right. Let's Very go. Good. Okay, follow me back this way. OK, what you got? Here we go, Chef. Thank you. Amy's going to be taking care of you. You should be right over, right? Thank you. Uh-huh. First by seared scallops, avocado egg rolls, crispy shared wontons. Wow. Mexican, Asian, Indian. It sounds like a fusion confusion. 
How are you? Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. My name is Amy. Amy, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I love that smile. Thank you. What's the style of food here? What is it? Is it classic American? Or... No, I think it's a classic Mexican. With American yeah. twist? American twist. Or a twisted chef? Or a twist. <laughs> is there a misprint on there or is that me? Grilled Caesar salad? No. Really? The lettuce is grilled? Uh-huh. Top it on the grill. you never heard of that? No. It no. hasn't hit London yet. <laughs> Okay, I'll start off with that. The grilled Caesar. No chicken, just... Uh, just. Do you know what? Throw the chicken in there, why not? Throw the chicken yeah. in there? I'll go for the... Um, um, uh, hello. Hi, how are you? Before you steal my knife and fork, we say hello? Oh. Yeah. My nice. name's Kevin. Kevin, good to see you, bud. Can I help you? Yeah, we're thrilled to have you here. I hope you can make some sense out of this shit. Yeah. Kevin! I need you. Can you excuse me for a second? Please. You're, you're busy. Yeah. Damn. I thought it was a thief. Yeah, that was random. Uh, that was I very know. random. Yeah, I don't know what he was. Excellent. What does Kevin do? He's a bartender. He's a bartender? Yeah, so he really shouldn't even be over here right now. So I, I don't even know. A bartender that just pops up and clears tables. I don't know tables. what he's doing. Multitasking. OK, where were we? I'll go for the flash fried oysters. Um, I'll go for the grilled salmon. And as it's ready, just send it. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Coming in, chef. I'm ringing in his orders, okay? Okay. So be prepared. To me, it's Chef Ranzo's just another customer. I mean, as long as he likes my food, we're gonna get along just fine. Good to go? Walking out. Yeah, I think he's gonna love this salad. I mean, it's a grilled lettuce. I mean, can't go wrong. Grilled salad. Come on. It is grilled. You're still amazed. I'm shocked. I've never thought about it, but it's true. Like, wait, why are we grilling lettuce? Sorry for interrupting, just two seconds. But this is a first for me, a grilled Caesar salad. <laughs> just, no, but they actually grilled the lettuce. <laughs> um, can you just show a hand if anyone else has ever had a grilled Caesar salad before? Anybody here, ladies? No? Sorry for interrupting. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh. I always get nervous when a chef serves me the butt of the lettuce. When you've got the butt of the lettuce on, you can never clean the lettuce properly. And unfortunately, it's not very nice inside. Dry chicken. The salad looks hideous. Why oh, is it so spicy? Take it away. Everything is spicy, everything. Jesus. Thanks, Danny. Grilled Caesar salad. Coming in, chef. Chicken is dry. The butt of the lettuce never should be at the end of the lettuce. OK. And why does salad have to be spicy? We're a Mexican-American cuisine. Well, he's clearly not from Mexico, so. First of all, Caesar salad is not from Europe. It's from Mexico. I mean, I'm the Mexican here. You're not. It's supposed to be spicy. Oysters? Oh, the flash fried. Yes. Thanks, darling. Are you kidding me? That's an oyster. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like a fossil from Jurassic Park. <laughs> wow, that is disgusting. Can you get me Richard, please? Sorry. Yes, sir. Sit down. OK. When was the last time you sat down and actually ate off your I menu? Ha I have not sampled the entire me menu really? like on a regular basis. Wow. Yeah. I want you to close your eyes now, okay. please. All right. OK. And just try and identify that. Tell me what you taste there. There's a lot of bread. A lot of bread. A little heat. Mm. Here we go again. Yeah. <clears throat> Something. Oh, you're right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Please, here you yeah. go. Please. Okay, thank you. Shit. <laughs> Rich needs water. It's about time for, you know, Rich to actually taste the food and see what's going on. Don't choke now. Yeah, it was it was the spice that got me at the end. Yeah, the spice that got you. <laughs> it's the bread that got me. <laughs> I'll give you that. No good on the oysters? Uh, yeah, not good. Next up is salmon. Salmon. Let's live in hope. What happened? Everything is just way too spicy. Ay, ay, ay. Chef Jorge thought that he was going to impress uh, Chef Ramsay with his food, and he wasn't impressed. I hope that this is definitely like an eye opener for him. So your plate is really hot. Don't worry, babe. Thank you, babe. OK. That looks like the bottom of a fucking bird cage. OK. I mean, salmon served on a bed of sticky rice with a green curry beurre blanc. What the fuck is going on in there? 
It's like the United Nations of main courses there. What's the style? It's a, it's, I guess it's a little convoluted, isn't it? That's one way of putting it. Yeah. OK. I want you to taste this. Go for the ragu and the strawberries. I mean, just the combination. The rice is just mm -hmm. hideous. Yeah. The spice is ridiculous. And the strawberries and the red onion ragu. Yeah. I had no idea we had that many problems with the food. The chef Ramsey dissected it. We got a lot of work to do here, don't we? That's the understatement of the year. Yeah. Don't worry. We got some more input for you. OK. He says you got a little board with green curry, beurre blanc, the strawberry ragu, and the sticky rice. You try it? Uh, yeah. And when you try the three together, it is a little, um, it doesn't blend well. Can you take it through the kitchen? Yeah. That way. Where's the chef? Here. Right here. Oh, OK, good. We should come in for two minutes. OK. Uh, when I arrived, you said the problem with the restaurant is the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And the issue wasn't the food. Yes, sir. Seriously? Now, I cannot believe that you stand there and tell yourself that your food is edible. Whose ever idea it was to grill a Caesar salad was just hideous. I understand the one was grilling a salad. The salad wasn't even clean. They had the butter lettuce on there. But forget the grilled Caesar salad. The biggest insult, the salmon. You're all over the place. There's no thought process. What restaurant did you train in? I went to school. What do you mean you went to school? Where did you go out and train before you opened your own restaurant? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. You didn't train? No, not at all. Out of culinary school, you then went home to your own restaurant? That is correct. Really? Here's it in a nutshell. You're not qualified to stand behind the line, let alone run your own fucking business. All you're doing is you're coming in here, trashing my background as far as where I've been, saying that all the food you ate today was shit, OK? One man's opinion is not an issue. You've got the arrogance to stand there and tell me that you think you're right. OK. You're gone. Listen, before you came here, all the things were working. Working in your little mind or working in your mind? I knew, I knew, I knew they needed to be tweaked. Tweaked? Yeah. Fucking brain surgery. This guy's just out of control. He doesn't have any fucking right to come in here and just fucking talk to me in that sort of manner. Get the fuck out of here. This is my restaurant. Show me some fucking respect. I gotta go. After an informative lunch, Chef Ramsay has a better understanding of the food problems at Park's Edge. Uh, let's catch up. Have a seat. He now wants to delve deeper into the issues that this restaurant has with its local community. I'd like to sort of understand what happened here for the neighborhood. Uh, number one was we erected a tent in a parking lot without a proper permit. So we get sighted. First, the neighbors came by and said, hey, you got to take the tent down. It's not legal. Did you take it down? We did in accordance to the city, but not in accordance to the neighbors. Damn. So that pissed yeah. off the locals next. Right. So then we didn't have a liquor license and a business license. And I'm not going to lie. We were, we were getting, Fine. we were negligent. Wow. I mean, that's quite major. No liquor license. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So then first the neighbors came out and said the neighborhood could do better. Uh, we were not good enough for the neighborhood. And my response was they don't like us because we're a minority owned restaurant in a white neighborhood. <sighs> wow. Yeah. So you said the neighborhood was racist. Yes, exactly. Have you done anything, you personally, in the last three years to sort of build those bridges with the neighborhood? I don't know what to do or what to say or how to reach out properly. And we made some stupid mistakes. Even the statement I made was, was stupid. And I don't know how to fix it at this point. I don't know if I think it might even be beyond repair. OK, I'll be back later, yeah? I want to observe how you run your business, all right? Thank you. All right, thank you. OK, ladies, uh, we're going to get set really, really quick. we got 78 people in an hour and a half. With a busy night ahead of them. Matt, you need this pasta transfer? No, I'm good. Richard and Jorge prepare their teams for dinner service. I'm just back, out back for one second. Oh, there you go. All set, huh? You okay? Ready? Yeah. You're going outside with a cigarette in your hand. Yes. Customer's about to come in, and you're going outside I'm for a cigarette. Going, no. Uh, no. It was very embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. It was like a, a parent punishing a child. Okay. Fuck off in there. Come on, let's All go. Right, here we go. Jorge, I just want you to do what you normally do. 
Okay, so do whatever you need to do. All right, man, thank you. Chef Ramsay thinks that I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. And this is a time for me to show Chef Ramsay what Park Sash is all about. So who does what? I do grill, pantry, uh, chef's gonna work saute, and Matt, I believe, is the in-between helping us out. And how much experience do you have? More than 10 years. More than 10 years? Yeah. Okay, good. So uh, how many years experience do you have? Uh, 15. 15, wow. Hi, ladies, how are we? Hi, my name is Drew. I'll be your server. We'll try the water is. The dinner service underway. This is the Midwell parlor right here. Hi, Drew. And they're going to be extremely hot. Chef Ramsay is eager to see how Jorge leads his team in the kitchen. Hey, Ebony, talk to me. Where are you at right now? Table 12 is working. No, it's not working yet. I don't think it's, it's Jesse. OK, 42 needs to go out. Chef, are you ready on 42? What's up, 42? Wow. Hold on, 10. Wait, wait. Jorge doesn't know what he's doing. Matt, Jesse, what are you guys working on right now? We need to have scallops on 36. I'm, I'm not ready on the scallop. What scallop are you? We're doing 36 right now. Unbelievable. It's crazy that someone thinks that they can come out of culinary school and run a restaurant when you don't have any experience. Is Jorge running the kitchen, or do they just don't do what they want? No, he's running the kitchen. He is. He's a little overwhelmed right now. He's overwhelmed? I think mean, he might be. My God. How is everything? Oh. I mean, it's really spicy. It's small in the middle. Oh, wow. Okay, let me take that back. We're going to work on that. Chef? What is the issue? Uh, it's dry. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Okay. Unfucking real. What's wrong with that one, darling? It's cold. Different? Oh, no. It's medium rare. It's cold centered. Medium rare is going to be cold centered. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, my God. It's so frustrating. I'm a good server. Like, and you're just making me look bad. And that's my money. Like, that's my tip. So now it's like you're messing with my money now. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's raw. I mean, you can't serve that to customers. What is that? That's raw. You cannot serve it like that. Chef Jorge thinks that his food is to perfection. Like, he should be cooking for President Obama. Jorge, you OK? Yeah. But I thought you owned the place, ran the place. I do. I'm just struggling to see a head chef right now. Yes, well, I've been... But the stuff that's coming back is stuff that's either gone overcooked or undercooked. Uh, yeah, that's you right. need to wake up a little bit. Anyhow. Jesus. With Chef Jorge losing complete control of his kitchen... How are we going? 20 B. It's going to be eight minutes. What? The servers are frustrated. Table 20 A? Really needed. And not surprisingly, they aren't the only ones. <laughs> I'm doing all I can at this point. It's our first time. Probably will be our last. Is there any way you can go to the table and do what you can do? Where do I go? Where do I go beyond that? Richard does not like to deal with the complaints. Wow. I feel like we, as servers, are running this restaurant. I need Rich. Don't we all? Richard, can I be on? You got two seconds? Yes, sir. Yeah. Quickly, please. What's happening? Me. What's your role? As far as table times and so forth? No, just in general. Well, we're right now we're in the weeds. I'm, I'm, letting, I'm letting him do his but, thing. But you're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. You just stand around and sort of glide. Well, right now we're overwhelmed. The, the house is full. Oh, come on, Richard. Come on. I don't, I, I don't even know where to begin with the tables. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, come on, Richard. Doing dinner service, I don't know what to do differently. I'm at a loss. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm at a loss. Yeah, I hear you. So I personally don't get involved. OK, here's your crab cake right here. Can I get some runners, please? Yep, yeah, I'm here to run. Yeah, I'm here to run. Run away. This is a joke. I've never seen two owners that are more clueless at running a place than these two idiots, I'm telling you. Richard just walks around, and it's almost like he's in a dream. And Jorge, the self-appointed executive chef, that guy hasn't got a clue. Thank God the locals boycotted this place, because if they ate here, they'd never come back. Park Edge? Yeah, on the edge of a fucking disaster. What a nightmare. Excuse me. Can we have another chance on order? We have another engagement that we need to make. Okay. The entire table. Yes. With disgruntled diners unwilling to wait any longer... All right, folks, have a good night. Oh, they are not happy. The dining room empties out quickly. That's a wrap, Jorge. But while the kitchen may be done for the night... Start wrapping things up, man. Chef Ramsay's inspection of the walk-in is just beginning. Look at the state of this. What a mess. Asparagus here, rubbery. Oh, come on. That's got to be a month old. What the fuck is that in there? 
Oh shit. Guys got no idea. What is that? Oh it's chicken. Marinating chicken. Jeez. It's marinating alright. More like fermenting. What a joke. Oh, hey, can I uh, can I just have a, a word with you in private with Richard? Yeah, on our yeah. own. When was the last time you looked in here? Probably. Come on, straight answers. Just one of you give me anything. Wednesday. Wednesday. Look what's in the box. Who turns? The project's over. Who rotates the freshness? That's my staff. Really? Fuck me. Seriously? Why throw my lemons like that for? Why are you taking my product? They're and you're molding you. Hey, look. Okay. Want to see some more? Stay there. Chicken. Fucking hell. I mean, look at this. What's this for? When's that from then, chef? Those are from today. Those are those are not going to be served to the public. Oh, they're, they're not going to be served to the public. I'm right? telling you that I'm not going to serve this. So you're you're saving them for what? Talk to me then. They're just from, the, from this morning. You bullshitting little fucker. No, you're the little fucker. I'm telling you, this were made today. Oh, now, right. If you don't fucking believe me, that okay. is your responsibility. So that's your thing. You're lying through your teeth. I am not lying yes, through my teeth. Yes, you are. You can't okay. even tell. You can't even tell me the truth. Do you know truth why? About what? Because you don't know, and you're a fucking joke. You Listen, think. you're a joke to me. After a miserable dinner service and discovering the state of the walk-in, what's this for? Those are not going to be served to the public. You bullshitting little fucker. Chef Ramsay has had enough of Jorge's excuses. You're lying through your teeth. I am not lying yes, through my teeth. Yes, you are. Okay. You can't even tell me the truth. Do you know truth why? About what? Because you don't know. And you're a yeah. fucking joke. You Listen. All oh, right. You're a joke too, man. Are you going to walk off now? Walk off. Listen, oh. all you do, all you're doing is hammer it. Do you know what? What upsets me more about you than anything is that you don't even realize you're playing at running a restaurant. And the minute you start looking at yourself in the mirror and stop blaming the people around you, the quicker you may get this place turned around. Got it? Good. Fucking joke. Anyway, he does need his eyes open a bit. He didn't really think we had that many problems with the food. But it's obvious tonight that things are not right. Poor Hay needs to hear what Chef Ramsay had to say. After a disastrous day one, Chef Ramsay wants to get through to the owners about all of the issues of the restaurant. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Good, good. He wants the staff to unload, and the owners will be watching via surveillance cameras. What I'd love to know is what the issues are behind the scenes. Are you going to help? Do you know what? The reason I'm here is to help. But I can't start helping until I know exactly what is going on. So what I need from you guys is a clear picture. What are the main issues in here? Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like Richard just is really reluctant to be interactive with the guests after they're sat. It's like butts and seats, mm -hmm. and that's where he stops. And we're really responsible of solving guest problems. Richard. He gets stressed, he drinks wine, and so sometimes it makes it hard for us to communicate with him when we're having problems, because he's been drinking all day. If he wants to be as effective as an owner, he needs to be completely 100%. He's here. That's a good point. It's a very good point. And does he drink every day? Yes. And what does Jorge think of that? They have a lot of separation. Jorge's in the kitchen and Richard's out front. Their interactions are some very pretty minimal. 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 They need to educate themselves uh, more about this business. I know more about running a restaurant than either one of them together. They're too proud to say, hey, I do need help. Yeah. Chef Jorge, he acts like he's like on your level. He's like fresh out of culinary school. I mean, the ink hasn't even dried on his little certificate, and now he thinks he's an executive chef. Has anyone ever told Jorge that his food is so complicated? Chef is extremely stubborn, does not care what anybody has to say about anything, and if you dare say anything to him, it's your ass. Wow. You cannot give Jorge any negative feedback or you will get lashed out. Wow. I didn't see him lash out at anybody last night. Does, does he shout? Does he scream? What does he say when he, when he goes off? I get called dumb, uh, pinheaded. He had a conversation in Spanish a couple weeks ago in the kitchen about how fat I'd gotten. One day he snapped at me and I was just like, don't talk to me like that. And then he was like, oh, if you don't like it, well, you don't have to be here. I'm like, if I don't like verbal abuse, like, I don't have to be here. Seriously? 
rude. I thank you for your honesty. Okay? I think we need to stage an intervention for them because they're in denial. Good, because there's no need. They're right here. They're here right now? That's right. To watch you. Oh my god. I'm gonna get them and bring them out. Okay? Good. Like they're here right now. I never would have said those things if I had known that they were listening. I guess everything is out in the open now. After the staff detailed the problems with the owners... They're too proud to say, hey, I do need help. Gordon wants to bring the two sides together... Let's go. ...and bring it all to a head. Uh, you know, the most important part now is ironing this out. Um, we heard everything you guys said. And um, I was enlightened. Period. That's all I got to say. Um, it, 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 it touched me um, deeply, and um, yeah, I was enlightened. I was, I was enlightened. Come on, play should see. Oh man, this is this is really deep for me, man. I've always been a pillar. Sit down. All right. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm you fine. Sure? You go ahead, Hori. Yeah, just watching all of you guys just express how you feel. I was picturing the moments that you guys are talking about, and um, I really want to apologize um, to you guys for being unfair. You guys have been so dedicated to working with us together uh, to build this restaurant. I don't want you guys to feel like you've been taken advantage. I don't want you guys to feel that way. And I didn't know that was a feeling. As far as my attitude, believe me, that things will change. That's my word to you guys, and I'm willing to take those steps that we need to take to move forward. I definitely need to treat people differently you know, before he gets to this stage again. You know, I really never thought about what you guys thought, and I'm sorry. I consider myself a, you know, a pretty nice guy for the most part and loving and concerned and giving. And I, I, ha I haven't been to you guys. Not to, I haven't been. And I apologize for that. I have learned more in these last few minutes than I think I've learned for the three years I've been here. I know me and I know what I'm capable of doing. And I haven't cared enough. I know that. There's so much more I could be doing. And there's so much more I could be learning as well. This is definitely a turning point. I'm looking for new and better ways. It's high time we changed. While Chef Ramsay has a plan to relaunch this restaurant, he knows it's also critical that Richard and Jorge reach out to the community. And he's arranged an opportunity for them to do just that. If there's ever a chance for you to put a little apology out there. Yes. I can't think of a more fitting time yeah. now. All right. Okay. 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 Going on the news was a platform that part of this controversy started with, and going on the news now will allow us to use the same platform to hopefully end it. We are joined by the one and only Chef Ramsay, and he's brought a couple of friends along from Park's Edge Restaurant in Inman Park, and we are delighted to have you gentlemen with us. Let's talk about where they need to begin to get sure. things on the right track. Where do, where do they start at Park's mm -hmm. Edge? They had uh, the most amazing uh, restaurant with a great location, right, right smack bang in the neighborhood, yeah. and we got off to a wrong sort of footing, didn't we? Yes, we did. We basically didn't respect the neighborhood in the way we should have. There were some things that were set out of frustration that I sincerely want to apologize about, and we hope that we can gain the community's trust and respect once again. Mm -hmm. Being able to voice the apology on local TV was one of the greatest gifts I had ever received. You see me smiling ear to ear. I am so excited. I, I, can't, I can't even explain. After Richard and Jorge took their first big step to reconnect with the community. How are we? Good, how's it going? Ladies, good to see you. Chef Ramsay is now ready to unveil Park's Edge new look. It's the beginning of a new era. Let go of the past and look forward to an exciting yeah. new future. Welcome to the new Park's Edge. Beautiful. Wow. Edgy. Edgy. Very rustic looking. Huh? Rustic, clean, simple, modern. Good news is, the orange is gone. Yeah. Even better news, 
The orange is gone. They're on the inside too. <laughs> you ready to come inside? Yes, yes we are. Let's go. go. Let's go, let's All go. Right. Come round. Oh, oh my god. god. What? Oh my god. Wow. Oh my wow. god. This is beautiful. Take it in. Gone are the hideous colours. We brought in a new contemporary feel. Oh, oh my God. God. This is phenomenal. Now, I got goosebumps as I was walking in. I was seeing the new colors, and you know, there's like a life in here. And I am very proud to be the owner of Park Says right now. We've got some amazing pictures on the wall. All these images are local. Doesn't it look good that you're bringing back in the neighborhood into your restaurant and confirm if you care about them? Such a great idea. The new look is so refreshing. This is who we are. Beautiful, hand painted, hand carved, stunning wood panels on the wall. You're on the park's edge, so we have incorporate that stunning backdrop into the restaurant. I love it, man. Yeah, so I love it. All the linens have gone and exposed those beautiful wooden tables. I am so happy and so proud. I am flabbergasted over the changes that were made in the dining room. Chef Ramsay has taken this restaurant to another level that we didn't even consider. Beautiful, man. Yes. In addition to revamping the decor, wow. please, Chef Ramsay has completely overhauled Jorge's complicated menu. This new menu is easy to execute. And let's get one thing right. It's American cuisine with a contemporary twist. <laughs> Excited? Oh, yes. 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 Right, let's start off with this delicious green fried tomatoes with a, a buttermilk dressing. Light, a little bit spice, and delicious. Wow. Next to that, spicy wings. Yeah, I'm served with a really nice herb blue cheese dressing. I can't wait till you start so we can start eating. <laughs> uh, entrees, pan seared salmon, you just done with a cauliflower puree and a caper relish. Next to that, a nice little robust slice of pork belly with a cassoulet, easy on the line. Any questions? When can we uh, eat? Jump in. Mm. Those scallops are oh, so Oh, wow. Those wings are really good, too. This is some of the best food I've ever had. Food's definitely making me realize that my food was just too far complicated. Simple was way better. I hope nobody else wants these fries. It's my new favorite restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No more question, no more complaints. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Coming up. Here we go. When the doors are open for service. Being sabotaged. Okay. Unbelievably, one cook in the kitchen. Get out of here right now. Chill out with a fucking drama. Threatens to ruin the restaurant's relaunch. Get out of here. Now that the menu has been revealed. Okay, so they, so mussels, that, that's their portion for mussels? Yeah. Chef Ramsay has brought in his team to spend all day training the Park's Edge kitchen staff. There's a saute, I'm and sorry. there's a grill. But not everyone is on board with the changes. And then there's a fry station. Okay, so you do the fry station. No, I will absolutely not cook a chicken huh? wing. You won't cook a chicken wing? No. What's that? Don't feel comfortable frying a chicken wing. Why not? Unless she wants to put on a pair of orange shirts and go out there and serve it. They're here to train us, okay? You gotta turn around and give them a hard time. Check yourself before you check them out, okay? I'm gonna ask you again. He has this huge ego about fried chicken. This is really irrelevant. He's here to do what I tell him to do, not what he wants to do. What's going on? You put a bunch of fucking chicken wings on the menu. Okay. I think somebody ought to fucking put some orange shorts on there and got him serving. Okay. So how about a little bit of respect and showing these two guys? A little fucking respect for a fine dining restaurant and not putting fucking chicken wings on the menu. A fine dining restaurant. Are you fucking listening to yourself? Where? where, where? Yeah. So who the fuck do you think you are? Who do I think I am? Yeah, a guy that knows when a menu sucks. How dare you get jumped up telling the owners the menu's shit because you think you know better. Well, why aren't you doing better? Why haven't you got your own restaurant? How about having the intelligence to calm down and to start again? Is that possible, yes or no? It's possible. Will you do it? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Tonight's a huge night. There's no way I'm gonna let somebody fuck it up. Matt needs to be able to board or get out. Show me what to do so I can do it. Thank you. It's relaunch night at Park's Edge. Big night, yeah? Tonight, we go forward. Happy, everybody? Yes. Good. And fresh off Richard and Jorge's TV appearance. Hey, folks, how you doing? Welcome to Park's Edge. I'm Richard. How's it going? The restaurant is packed and the community seems ready to give Park's Edge another chance. This is day one for Park's Edge. We got a great new menu going. We're a new restaurant, and I hope everything goes perfectly. We have a great new menu this evening. Everything's good, honestly. They even have things on here. I'm going to go with the mixed mushroom rigatoni. Great, great. Thank you all very much. There we go. Order in, chef. 
Thank you. All right, I need two orders of muscles right here. Work it, please, Jesse. Two orders of muscles. Okay, Matt, go ahead and focus on the green fried tomatoes. Thank you. I'm gonna run my kitchen like a Thai chef tonight. I gotta make sure that the food leaves this kitchen perfect. 21's up. Wow, that was fast. Nice. What a difference. All right, Lovely. can I get a runner, please? With Jorge really stepping up and commanding his kitchen. 32's coming up, 22's working. Good. That's exactly the tone, Jorge. Okay. Delicious food is going out seamlessly. That's so good. It's good, right? Yeah. Jorge, right, you drive it. Drive, 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 yes? Yes, yes. Yay, the food is coming out so quick. Don't jinx it. I'm oh, sorry. How long on wings? Yeah. This is fucking ridiculous. Come on, Matt. I know you hate the wings, but just sell them, please. Seven. Hate me, don't hate the wings. You got your orange shorts? Orange shorts. Cut the shit to the end of service, OK, big boy? Come on. Hey, you, while you want to fuck around and take the piss, let me tell you something really important. What's that? Yeah, I've fucking forgotten more than you know. Just serve the food and shut the fuck up, smart ass. Matt, Ooh, okay. what is the big deal? Trying huh? to have a good time. You're not having a good time, and you're making life tough. I'm having a good time. Why is he acting like that? Because he's a jackass. Matt is beyond the weakest link. You are here to do a job. Do it. Poor Billy's in the window. Matt, that's overcooked. I know you don't care, but I do. And you're supposed to be working hard tonight to help get this place turned around. Why are you now trying to sabotage it? Mr. Shitter, who thinks he can't fucking cook a chicken wing, can't even drop a piece of pork in the fryer. Look at it, dry piece of overcooked pork belly. He's going to start sending us down. Matt, you seriously want to fuck me over right now? No. Why are you being a piece of shit for them? I don't know if there's something wrong with that or not. I'm not a violent man by any means, but if he fucks it up for me tonight, I will literally do something. I'm still waiting on a pork belly. Yeah, how long on a pork belly? Talk to me, guys. How you doing? Plating, chef. Thank you. Oh, hey, please, touch it. Please, it's stone cold. Come on, man. Chef, what do you think of that? That's shit, yeah? All this work for this. Matt's having this really, really difficult time with just into the menu. It's almost like he's trying to destroy his whole dinner service. Why would you fuck up service tonight? You're making me look like shit. Chill out with the fucking drama. What'd you say? I said chill out with the drama. Get out of here right now. Get the fuck out right now. You know what? What'd you say? Get out of here. It's relaunch night at Park's Edge. Four bellies in the window. Look at it. Dry. And line cook Matt has not only made a number of mistakes. You can't be selling shit like that, man. Chill out with the fucking drama. But he has had a bad attitude as well. What'd you say? I said chill out with the drama. Get out of here right now. And Jorge has had enough. Get the fuck out right now. You know what? What'd you say? Get out of here. All right, fine. It's cool if you're going to be serious like that. Matt, see ya. Let's continue working, please. Um, this is my kitchen, and we're moving forward. And if somebody becomes an obstacle or a speed bump, they're gone. We have no more tolerance for that. Hey, boy, well done. Step up now. Well, yeah, get yeah. together and yes. make it happen. Jesse, can you pick up some other stuff, please? OK. I'm just waiting on pork belly. I think it's a good thing that Matt's okay. gone. Now we can get down to business and not bicker like children. Pork belly in the window. Awesome, you are rocking my world. Now, with everyone pulling in the same direction. Open door, chef. I'm gonna need a runner. I got it. Thank you. Dishes quickly make their way out no. to happy diners. Oh, those look great. Yeah. Looks great. Yeah. My customers are happy, and it's just a completely different environment in the restaurant. I'm actually happy to be working here tonight. We're done now, right? Yes. We still have a lot of work to do, but I definitely believe that we could build this restaurant again. Good job hanging in here today. Yeah, much better. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Hoy. Yes, sir. It's been a rough week, let me tell you. We've had ups and downs, especially you and I. And do you know what? I didn't think you were going to step up to the mark. I didn't think you were confident enough. But my God, strong finish. Thank you. Customers love the food, let me tell you. Don't start overcomplicating your menu. You got my word. This, this is a new beginning. Richard? Yes, sir. You're a smart guy. Mm -hmm. You're better than just sitting, meeting, and greeting. Get in there. Get your hands dirty. OK, sir. We have come a long way. And this is just the start. Every day you walk in there, demand the best out of Richard, and you demand the best out of Jorge. Push each other. Yes, sir. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Good night. It's a pleasure. Chef Ramsey didn't only change our business, he changed our lives. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. Thank you. When I first got here, I met two owners that were completely clueless. One didn't know how to run a restaurant, another one had no idea how to run a kitchen. They've both come a long way, clearly, but they've got an even longer journey now to rebuild this reputation in the community and to become a successful restaurant. Honestly, I wish them luck. <sighs> Breaking news, we've stopped grilling Caesar salad. In the weeks that followed. Thank you, thank you for coming back out again. I know we cut up some foot. Richard and Jorge continued their community outreach. I appreciate the support, thank you. And business at Park's Edge is definitely on the rise. Richard has taken a more active role. Okay, salmon. Wow. Can I get a New York strip on the window, please, for 43? It's coming right now. Thank you. Jorge has not only embraced the new menu, but has done a great job executing it. Okay, two shrimp and grits. Thank you. Second and bacon. Our future for Park Sage is not guaranteed, but I definitely have a very, very strong feeling that we are on our way to success. There's a new light at the end of the tunnel. 